understanding the Bible and the relation between the reality that which we created in a moral ethic by defining ourselves after waking up in shame and clothed in um, animal skins or animal hides, flesh, which is the considered understanding of the law that was placed in the hearts and souls and minds and eyes and ears, all the senses of mankind, spiritual laws that were written in the angel wars before we were uh, separated from God. Understanding the spirit of man is all things that share the same breath of the Son of Men or the Son of God, the Son of the Father, rather. Um, the Son of Men can cut themselves off from one who is with a key for salvation any time they want. But the Son of the Father will always be with the Son of Man or the Son of God, the Son of the Father. In saying that the Spirit of all things is with the same breath as he who has been ordained by the Father through the Son who gave his life as a Savior, Jesus Christ, or Anakim and Orion, Hebron of Perizzites. I'm not sure of Anakim if he's the actual son of Orion, or if he's a spiritual son just like um, Jesus Christ is with King David, born of Joseph and Mary Magdalene. <clears throat> That's the, the, the understanding that I'm trying to um, complete in knowledge and wisdom so that I can continue my research about God. But the Spirit all things, we can only say that it is the spirit of the earth. And when I say the spirit of the earth, I mean that death dies. All things die. Trees, grass, animal, fish, human beings. And it goes into the dirt, but it grows. As well as that, the spirit of the dirt would be considered a clay or a clay golem that is able to be used in a fleshly manner, saying that flesh goes into the dirt and the soul goes back to God, or it goes into the sun and the moon, as I explained in other, other um, rationalities of creation and reforming and reproving or rebuilding a temple that is broken or fallen or a constitution or a congress in the same aspect of the law 